Hey everybody, I am here today to talk to you about a telescope that is not focusing. I'll be showing you and telling you specifically how to fix it easily with this beginner tutorial. So if you have a telescope like this and you're not able to focus it, these are six things that you can do to hopefully get your telescope to focus. So let's go through these uh, in a fairly fast manner. So just pay attention, take notes, and try out what I'm telling you to try out. And hopefully one of them works for you. So number one is to make sure that the eyepiece is clean. Now I'm going to be coming in and out of the camera frame, so just sort of bear with me. The eyepiece is over here, it's the lens that you look into. You might have a star diagonal like this, you might not, but it's this piece that I'm talking about. Make sure it's clean, both the part that you look into and when you remove it, make sure that the actual lens is clean on this side as well. You wouldn't believe how quickly these can accumulate dust if they're not covered up when you remove them and stuff like that. So make sure that your eyepiece is clean because it will cause it to look blurry and not look focused if it's something as simple as just a little smudge on the eyepiece. Number two is to make sure that the objective lens is also clean. The objective lens is this lens over here. You want to make sure that this lens is clean, okay? And that's for the same reason that I just kind of outlined before. If this is blurry or smudged, I should say if it's smudged, it will look blurry and it will look unfocused. So make sure that the objective lens is clean too. Number three is to turn the focuser wheel. So on your telescope, there's going to be a wheel that essentially retracts and extends this tube over here. And this wheel is your focuser wheel. If it is looking blurry and unfocused, you actually have to use this to get clarity on the image. So you have to use this to actually make it more clear. So just go, what I recommend is go all the way to the, uh, to the furthest back range and then all the way to the furthest forward range and look into it throughout the, that entire range, back and forth, and if at some point you should see it focus up and, and look clear. If not, you have a different problem, but it might be because of the focus or wheel. Number four is to try a different magnification level. So as you can see right here, I actually have two different um, eyepieces over here. So if I was unable to get a focus with this, I would try it with this. You want to try a different magnification level. The image will look different when you have a different magnification level. It will look different. It might look bigger or smaller, magnified or unmagnified, but you want it to look clear. You want it to focus. So try a different magnification uh, level of eyepiece, okay? Uh, if that doesn't help you out, use number five. Move on to number five, which is that if your telescope uses mirrors, your mirrors might not be aligned properly. You might need to realign them. This is a uh, refraction, refractory telescope. Um, but you might have also a reflective telescope or a combination of both. If your telescope is a reflective telescope, it uses mirrors. And you have to align those mirrors. It's just part of your maintenance. So um, take a look at those mirrors and see if they need to be aligned. That will hopefully help you out. Um, and last but not least, um, in number six is that it could just be the stuff in the sky. So essentially, sometimes when you're looking at stuff in the sky, you know, you're going to get like uh, fogginess almost, and you might think it's your telescope, but in reality, it's just the way that the sky is on that day. So it might be the stuff in the sky. Keep that in mind, and that's essentially it. If you're having trouble focusing your telescope, that's how to fix it easily in a beginning tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.